Every day, millions of tons of food and animal feed are produced, sold and consumed worldwide. To meet the growing demand for food and feed, farmers need to increase the productivity of their crops and livestock. This often involves using pesticides to protect crops from pests. However, pesticide residues may remain in crops and in livestock that eat these crops and eventually end up in our food and drink. Pesticides are potentially toxic to humans and may have adverse effects on our health. How can we ensure that our food is safe? By setting maximum residue limits of pesticides in food and drink, we can protect the health of consumers and facilitate international trade. Limits are recommended by the Joint Meeting on Pesticide Residues, an expert scientific group brought together by the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations and the World Health Organization. The maximum residue levels recommended by the JMPR are adopted by the joint FAO-WHO Food Standards Program implemented by the Codex Alimentarius Commission and recognized by the Agreement on the Application of Sanitary and Phytosanitary Measures of the World Trade Organization, a reference standard for international harmonization of food regulations to protect human health and facilitate trade. Without food safety, there can be no food security. By safeguarding food and human health from the risks of pesticide residues, we can contribute to better production, better nutrition, a better environment, and a better life, leaving no one behind. <laughs>